Women at home may have felt the earliest nudges from the winds of freedom. As the 1920s unfolded, increasing numbers of households benefited from running water, paved streets, and better sanitation systems. Coal replaced wood fires in urban households, and in others, gas provided a continuing source of heat. Fewer women chopped wood, more sent their children out to scavenge for coal. At the same time, poorer households began to replace bare wood floors, sometimes even earth floors, with linoleum. Linoleum was cheap. It was easy to clean. It was good looking. With a linoleum floor, a woman might sweep the floor as often, but washing it would be an easier task. As more and more households began to get access to electricity, iceboxes spread, releasing women to shop perhaps once every other day rather than every single day. For lucky, affluent women, electric irons, vacuum cleaners, and toasters all made daily life easier. Changes in the household meant that a woman who had previously needed a daughter or a paid helper could now manage alone. Those who had previously not had time for jobs outside the household could now imagine using the extra time to work part-time or part-year or temporarily during the canning season or whenever it seemed appropriate. Technological changes released daughters of householders to get more schooling. A household that could afford it might keep a 14 or 15 year old girl in school until she was 17 or 18, might even give her a bit of vocational training, enabling her to use a typewriter or to become a bookkeeper. The market expanded too, changing how young and middle-aged women thought about their lives. Robert and Helen Lind, in their classic volume, Middletown, capture these choices in very graphic terms. For example, they interview one woman who comments on the fact that she'd spent most of the early 1900s making clothes for her children. But by the 1920s, her children preferred ready-made clothing. And so the mother took a job, and with the money she made, she described herself as hiring the sewing done. This mother shifted her time to wage earning and used the income to buy clothing in the market. Everyone who buys prepared food today and feeds the family that way because she is working too hard to cook will understand this process. <laughs>